Hello, I'm Seema and welcome to part 18 of the chapter Alcohols, Phenols and Ethers. In the previous video, we were discussing the acidity of phenols and I left the last point where we talked about the substituted phenols and I said that I'll be explaining this in more details in this video. So that is what I'm going to talk about in this uh, video. If you wish to know about why phenols are acidic, how they form the phenoxide ion and how the phenoxide ion is more stable than the phenol itself and therefore it encourages the, the, the phenoxide ion being more stable uh, means that the reaction would move towards the formation of phenoxide ion that is phenols try to act as acids and they do, they are acidic in nature. So this is what uh, we had studied in the previous video that this is phenol and phenol has the low pair of electrons on oxygen they can participate in delocalization around the ring so the negative charge it revolves around the ring a low pair of electrons moves here and forms a double bond and since one carbon can form only four bonds this becomes one two three and four so it cannot have five bonds. As soon as a double bond is formed here, this pi bond, the electrons of this pi bond are pushed to the next carbon. And since they are pushed to the next carbon, one electron belongs to this carbon, but one electron belongs to this carbon, which has now moved here. So there is a shift of electrons. So the negative charge shifts to this ortho position. Now, negative charge by itself is not stable. Therefore, it tries to make another bond here and the same situation occurs on this carbon it cannot have five bonds therefore the pi electrons of this double bond they move towards the next carbon thereby in the next step you see the negative charge reaches the uh, the para position and then this forms a bond and the same situation occurs here this carbon cannot form five bonds so it pushes the pi electrons to the next carbon that is it comes here and the negative charge now moves to the next carbon thereby forming the uh, pi bond here this already exists right so in the next step this electron now pushes towards the uh, next bond forming a pi bond and the double bond that was formed by the lone pair of oxygen now is pushed back to oxygen it goes back to oxygen and a bond is formed between this carbon and this carbon and as soon as the pi electrons of, of this bond between oxygen and carbon move towards move back to oxygen the positive charge is lost it becomes neutral and at the same time since this has formed a pi bond the negative charge is also lost so it comes back to the same uh, compound only this time the bonds are not are at the other positions if here the double bond was between one and two here the double bonds are between two and three and so on so this phenomenon of moving charges or charges that can travel in a molecule is known as resonance and charges can only move in the form of electrons because because it is only electrons which can move positive charge does not move but positive charge in certain reactions appears to move because of the movement of electrons. When electrons move away, that part becomes positively charged. In this case, the positive charge is static at oxygen. Now, when the phenoxide ion is formed, what happens is just remove one hydrogen from each of these structures and the bond with hydrogen. So the bond with hydrogen every hydrogen has left as H positive. In the bond with hydrogen, there was one electron was of oxygen and the other electron was of hydrogen. So hydrogen left without its electrons. So the phenoxide ion should look like this and the phenoxide ion is always negatively charged, right? So here you will not have the positive charge, but you will have a lone pair of electrons for every and the positive charge will not exist because the positive charge has already gone away with hydrogen and that lone pair is available here, right? So this is negatively charged again. But in the case of the phenoxide ion, it is only the negative charge which is, which is moving around in the molecule or is delocalized. 
which gives it even more stability than the phenol that we saw and that is why phenols try to act as acids because when they act as acids which is which means that when they lose H positive ions that is acidic character losing H positive ions <laughs> when they lose H positive ions the molecule shows a, a movement of the negative charge and in that case in OH the negative charge was only in, within the ring here the negative charge is also um, being contributed by the oxygen or is also moving towards the oxygen therefore there is another point of negative charge so resonance is also more so this is what we had understood in the previous video now I told you that when you have substituted phenols when the phenol has got a substitution substitution means some other group is added to phenol we have to see when some other group is added to phenol does it help in its acidic character or does it not help the formation of phenoxide ion leads to stability so any substituted substance which helps in the formation of the phenoxide ion or which makes the phenoxide ion more stable will be will help the acidic character of phenol so let us now see that in substituted phenols the presence of electron withdrawing group enhances the acidic strength why would this be whenever there is an electron withdrawing group what is happening what did we notice in this that the negative charge was moving towards the ring and it was moving around in the ring so anything that pulls negative charge anything that pulls negative charge towards the ring will help the acidic character because that will make the phenoxide ion more stable it will make it easier for the electron to come into the ring and participate in resonance so whenever you have an electron withdrawing group which means a group that attracts electrons these electrons move in simply because of the even if there was no substituent the electrons do show a resonance the electrons do move into the benzene ring because the benzene itself ring itself is electron withdrawing but if you have another electron withdrawing group in the benzene ring that will make it even more electron withdrawing the benzene ring will become even more electron withdrawing which will make it which will help in the electrons to move into the benzene ring and therefore the phenoxide ion that will be formed as a result of that substituted phenoxide ion would also be more stable so the acidic strength will increase now the question is if the electron withdrawing group is present at ortho or para positions it is more helpful why would this be do you see that the negative charge moves in the ortho position it comes to the ortho position then it moves to the para position then it again comes to the ortho position it does not come to the meta position at all so when this electron withdrawing group is present at the perfect position where the negative charge should go even if the electron withdrawing group is present in the meta positions it will still attract the electrons because on it is making the whole benzene ring more electron withdrawing but if it is present at the ortho position ortho position and the para position where the electrons actually go and sit that would make it even stronger that would make it even more effective see if i pull something towards myself and I have a helper who also pulls in a tug of war if I have uh, one more participant here pulling the electron pulling the other side of the rope towards myself if we are two would it not be at the same spot holding the same rope would it not be more helpful rather than someone in a tug of war I am pulling the rope but there is another helper who's standing on the side and pulling my arm it will help a little but it is kind of distracting also so it will not help as much but if there is someone behind me holding the same rope and pulling so if there is uh, an electron withdrawing group at the same point where the electron has to be pulled that is the ortho and the para position where the negative charge will come and sit that would make it even a stronger 
acid. So we say, no doubt that presence of an electron withdrawing group in the benzene ring will help in the acidic strength. It will make the phenol more acidic. But if it is present at ortho and para position, it will be even more. Due to the effective delocalization of negative charge, the negative charge, the delocalization will be even more effective. So electron, but if you have an electron releasing group anywhere in the benzene ring, electron releasing group is in acting in the opposite direction. Electron releasing group pushes electrons away. Electron withdrawing group pulls electrons towards itself, but electron releasing group like methyl group, ethyl group, any alkyl group pushes electrons away. So if a metal ethyl group is present in the ring, it will push the electrons. So these electrons which have to come into the ring, they will be repelled by that group. So it will make the phenol less acidic. Right? So this is the basic logic. So from that, there is this table which has been given. Let me just uh, read this first. Electron releasing groups do not favor the formation of phenoxide ion and therefore leads to a decrease in the acid strength. If this is the compound, this is a table that's there, the compound, I should use a red instead, a compound, its formula, and its pKa value. Just as we have the pH values, the minus log of the hydrogen ion concentration, similarly, the minus log of the acid uh, containing that is the H positive ions if it is H positive in this case it is H positive so the you would call it pKa or pH values kind of so the pKa values of the acids you know I would again suggest like I suggested yesterday that I have made a series totally on comparing the acid strengths of all organic compounds this series you uses the Cario method I would suggest you watch the entire series because that series is really going to help you understand and explain the acidic strength of all organic compounds so much better. Anyway, coming back to this point, I will uh, add a link of that uh, series in all the videos where I will be talking about the acid strength of alcohols and phenols so that you can go to them and you can refer to that series. Trust me, when you do your entrance exams, that series is going to help you a lot. So you have these, uh, there's a list of compounds. There is ortho nitrophenol, meta nitrophenol, and para nitrophenol. We know nitro is an electron withdrawing group. Okay, then it's phenol. Ocresol is methyl phenol. Methyl group has been substituted. So ortho cresol, meta cresol, and para cresol. So, if this is the phenol, OH, you can have ortho, meta or para, nitro group, this will be ortho, if the nitro group is here, it will be meta, if the nitro group is here, it will be para nitro phenol. And if you have a methyl group, this is an electron withdrawing group, the nitro group, but if you have methyl group, then it forms cresol. So, this is ortho cresol. If it was present at this position, the methyl group, it would be called metacresol. And if it is present at the para position, it would be called paracresol. So we now know that methyl group is electron donating or it is electron releasing. It pushes electrons away. So we can understand that all the nitrophenols will be more acidic than phenol. All right. This is what we have understood. Whenever there is an electron withdrawing group, it will make the phenol more acidic. So obviously ortho, meta and para phenols are more acidic than phenol. And cresols, I, any one of those, whether it is ortho, meta or para, they will be, they will be, uh, make the phenol less acidic. And just as we said that ortho and para phenol, if there is a, uh, there is a, an electron withdrawing group, the, at the ortho and para positions will be more helpful. Similarly, an electron releasing group will be more harmful if it is present at the ortho and para positions. If it is at the meta position, it will not have that much of effect because the electrons are not actually coming to the meta position. 
it will make the entire benzene ring, it will deactivate it, it a little. But the, at the ortho and para position where exactly the electron has to come and there is someone standing to push it away, that will make it even less acidic or it will deactivate that spot even more from attracting the electrons to come and participate in the delocalization. So this is the <coughs> sequence of the acidic strength and in the end comes ethanol. So these are the formulae. NO2 is nitro group and ortho nitrophenol. All of them will have the same formula if we write it in this way. But if we make a structural formula, you can actually ortho will be on the second carbon, meta will be on the third carbon, and para would be at the that ortho will be here, meta will be here, and para will be here. The nitro group OH is present on top. OH is on top. So what do we see? If we compare their pKa values, we see ortho is 7.2. You know, when we do the pH values, the lower the pH value, the stronger is the acid. And the higher the pH value, more is the basic character. We already know that. And 7 is neutral. So, but that is just, we assume it to be anything, even which is neutral, can act as an acid if it is uh, reacting with something which is even more basic than it. A base also can act in as acid as an acid if it is reacting with something which is even more basic than it. Similarly, an acid can act as a base if it is reacting with another acid which is stronger than it. So it is all comparative. But on the whole, we say pH 7 is almost neutral. So we see that pKa value of nitrophenol is 7.2. Right now we are going to compare it to all of those or let us say what is the pKa value of phenol? The pKa value of phenol is 10. So nitrophenol should make it much more, should make it more acidic which means its pKa value should decrease. So we see the ortho nitrophenol has a pKa value of 7.2. Meta is more, it is 8.3. And para again is less, which is 7.1. So ortho and para are almost similar, but meta is slightly higher. Why? Because I told you that when the substituent is present at the meta position, it is affecting the whole ring, but it is not affecting the exact spots where the electrons have to come. So this has a pKa value of 8.3, which means this is less acidic while both ortho and para are more acidic. Yet, 8.3 is less than 10.10, 10, oh sorry, 10.0. That is the, uh, this is phenol. 10.0 is phenol. Okay, so even if it is 7.1, it is less than 10, which means it is, uh, 8.3, it is less than 10, which means it is more acidic than phenol, but not as acidic if the nitro was present at the ortho or para position. Then comes cresol. Cresol has methyl group, which is at ortho, meta and para positions. And methyl group is electron releasing or it repelling. It pushes the electrons away. So it will be more effective if it is present at the ortho and para position. And that is what we see. If it is present at ortho and para position, the value is 10.2. But if it is present at the meta position where the electrons are not coming, it is pushing the electrons, but the electrons say we don't even want to come on that spot. So it doesn't matter even if, but it is sitting there pushing the electrons away. So that doesn't affect as much, but uh, at the meta position, right? A very mild difference, but yes, this is a deactivating group. Therefore, the methyl group is a deactivating group because it is electron repelling and therefore it makes the phenol ortho meta and para cresols are less acidic than phenol and in the end we have ethanol ethanol is an alcohol the pKa value of ethanol is 15.9 and in the previous videos where we talked that alcohols are far less acidic than phenols phenols are much much more acidic and this value is actually the powers of 10 so this is, if this is 10 and this is 15.9, almost 60, it means it is, how many? It is million times more acidic than, how many million? It is, say, cresols are less acidic, 
Mm. Yes, phenol is a million times more acidic than ethanol. Phenol is 10 and chrysol, I mean sorry, ethanol is 15, which is uh, 5 more zeros to the power of 10. So, uh, I mean 10 to the power of those many more, 15, which makes so many more zeros to the 10. So it is a million times more, uh, sorry, less acidic than phenol. Or we can say phenol is a million times more acidic than ethanol. So this was talking about the acidic uh, nature or acidity of phenols. There is one solved example in the textbook. I would like to do this also. And with that, we will be ending this topic. And we'll start the next topic from the next video would be esterification. But before that, let us just seal this topic by understanding and using all our knowledge to uh, list these. Arrange the following in increasing order of their acid strength. First is propane one or So CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. The OH is on the first column. All right, propane one all, two, four, six, trinitro. This is OH, two, four, six, trinitro. We know nitro is electron withdrawing. So it is going to help in making phenol more acidic. And it makes it more acidic if it is present in the ortho and para position. And what do we see? All three ortho and para, there are two ortho positions and one para position, all three have been substituted by nitro groups. So this one is going to be a really strong acid. Just by looking at the structure or reading the name, you can get an idea. Next is 3-nitrophenol. So this is phenol again, OH, and nitro is on the third carbon. If this is one, two, three, it means it is a deactivating. It is not actually deactivating, but it is it is making the ring more activated, but it is not actually helping in the ortho and meta positions. So do you see this is my meta nitro phenol. Then the next is meta 3 nitrophenol, 3 5 dinitrophenol. Now you have OH here, 3 nitro and 5 nitro. So both the meta positions are, the nitro groups are present, at, both of them are present at the, uh, at meta positions. And then you have only phenol, which is here, and 4 methyl phenol. Methyl group we know is deactivating group, it is electron uh, repelling, so on the fourth carbon, which is para position. So this is actually chrysol, para chrysol, right? P chrysol. Now you have to arrange these in increasing order of their acid strength. We know chrysols, that is whenever you have an electron repelling group, that will be the least acidic. So it is this one, right? So we said this comes first. This is the least. We are doing it in order, increasing order of acid strength. So this should be the least acidic. All of these, oh wait, we have this also. The, it is an alcohol, right? So since this is an alcohol, alco phenols, even if they have a deactivating group, still they are much more acidic than alcohols. Just as we had ethanol here, propanol would be the least acidic. The second will be cresol, right? And now we have to compare these. This should be the most acidic. This has one nitro group on the meta position. So, and this has two nitros on the meta positions. Every nitro is going to help in acidic strength. So this has two and this has one. Even if it is at the meta position, this one will help a little, two will help more. So this will be less acidic. So we'll say this is the third one. This would be, which has two nitros, would be fourth one. And hang on, before this we have phenol also. So phenol should fall in between. So phenol is the third. This should be the fourth. This is fifth. 
and the most acidic of course is this right so the least should be an alcohol then comes the one which has an electron releasing group then comes one a phenol itself and then you have one nitro group two nitro groups even if they are at the meta positions and finally this which has nitro groups in the ortho and para positions if we had one of these where a nitro group was present only one at a meta position and one at a para position the one at the meta position would have been less acidic and the one with para or ortho any one would be would be more acidic so just by knowing these basic concepts what makes the phenol more acidic how the presence of a group makes it more acidic at which positions would the group effect more just by having the theoretical knowledge of that you can arrange these in a sequence so let me just confirm this propane one all propanol is first four methyl phenol is two phenol is third yes three nitrophenol three nitro phenol yes is fourth then 35 dinitrophenol is fifth and the most is 246 trinitrophenol is the most acidic in nature right so with this i will wrap up this video if you wish to watch other videos of this chapter click the link that appears on top of the video and if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel recommend it to your friends and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry thank you for watching and bye bye for now